بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویئرس محمد ناظم مائی تھرٹی نائنتھ اپیئرنس ان فرنٹ ویو ان فیکٹ دیر آر ناٹ ویری مینی اپیئرنس از لیفٹ اینڈ آئی تھنک اندر فائیو اور سکس لیکچرز اینڈ یو ول بی کمپلیٹنگ دس کورس یو بی آل سیٹ ٹو گو اینڈ بی آن یور اون دیٹس وائی آئی ایم ٹرائنگ ٹو فوکس آن سم آف دا ویری امپارٹنٹ ایلیمنٹس آف دا ریٹن کمیونیکیشنس اینڈ particularly the refusal letters, that is the disappointed uh, letters, where you have to bad news. And today is my uh, third uh, regarding this very, because I believe these are the letters which are very difficult to write. You must have by now understood, because by telling you the, the theory behind the whole uh, aspects which you want to keep in mind before formulating your message, you must have by now understood. that disappointed, uh, disappointing newsletters are really uh, difficult. They need a lot of planning and organization. Now you will be able to do all the things in your mind. Like I have focused on my last two lectures, ke andar, focus ki hai especially five uh, elements of these. I am not going to repeat them. Surely you must have come prepared, you must have revised those things. And, uh, And, and I promise to you that I'll be uh, showing to you, I'll be discussing with you a couple of sample letters. So I will do some sample letters with you, so that all the theories that we have discussed will be discussed in your mind. But then, some things I would like to quickly like to go through those things. Today, اسپیسمن لیٹرز آپ کے سامنے آئیں گے اس میں آپ چند جو چیزوں کا خیال رکھیے اور جو پاس میں میں نے آپ کو تھیری اس کی بتائی ہیں یو ول سی دیٹ ہاؤ اسکلفلی دوز آسپیکٹس آر ایمبیڈ ان ٹو دا ویریس سیکشن آف دا لیٹرز میں نے آپ کو کہا تھا کہ فرمنیس از ویری امپورٹنٹ ان ریفیوزل لیٹرز جہاں آپ نے ایک دفعہ کسی چیز کو ریفیوز کرنا ہے اس میں آپ کی فرمنیس امپورٹنٹ ہے اور فرمنیس کے پیچھے ہڈن بہائنڈ دیٹ فرمنیس از دا کمپنی پالیسی دیٹ از دا کمپنی ہیز ڈسائڈیڈ آن سرٹن رولز اینڈ ریگولیشن انڈر وچ یو وڈ بی اکوموڈیٹنگ سرٹن ریکویسٹس اور سرٹن فیورز سرٹن گرانٹس اف دوز آر ان وائلیشن ٹو دوز کمپنیز رولز یو ڈو ناٹ ایکسٹینڈ دوز گرانٹس اور کنسیشن لیکن میں نے ایک چیز جو کہ بار بار آپ کو کہی انڈر نو سرکمسٹانسز کسی بھی جگہ آپ نے اس کو ایویڈنٹلی اپنی رائٹنگ کے اندر یہ ظاہر کرنا ہے کہ یہ کمپنی کی چونکہ پالیسی ہے اس لیے ہم نہیں کر سکتے نو بیکاز یو وڈ آلویز ہیو ٹو مینٹین ون تھنگ دیٹ یو آر ججنگ دی ریکویسٹ آن دا میرٹ اٹ سیلف اینڈ وین یو آر کیپنگ اگین دا میرٹ ان یور مائنڈ یو آر ٹرائنگ ٹو اسٹیبلش اے ٹون which is reader friendly. Reader ko aap batayenge ke ye aapke bhale ke liye mein aise kar raha hoon. Good will aapne establish karni hai. Image aapne company ka establish karna hai. Aapne uske baad, that is, you want to continue on the relationship. Business relationship aapne continue karna hai. Lekin uske saath saath, you have to end that very discussion or debate jo ke aap through writing kar rahe hai. The argument on accommodating certain aspect Of the, of the merchandise or services, usko once for all aapne khatm karna hai. That you do not want to do any further correspondence in that because it consumes time, it consumes energy, it brings in uh, bad feelings. Yeh saari chizhen dimaag mein rakhte huye. Aaj mein aapko kuch specimens dikhaunga. Aap usko specimens ko dekhiye and please uh, keep on uh, revising what I said in the past. پانچوں ایلیمنٹس پلاننگ کے اندر اور اس کے بعد کیسے آپ نے آڈینس سینٹر ٹون رکھنی ہے اور کیسے آپ نے اپنے میٹر کو آرگنائز کرنا ہے اینڈ دین یو ہیو ٹو ڈسائڈ آپ نے ڈائریکٹ اپروچ پہ جانا ہے یا ان ڈائریکٹ اپروچ پہ جانا ہے آج ایک لیٹر ایسا ہوگا جو کہ ڈائریکٹ اپروچ ہوگی ڈائریکٹ میتھڈ آف سینگ امپلائڈ نو بٹ موسٹلی ڈس اپوائنٹنگ نیوز لیٹرز میں آپ ان ڈائریکٹ method adopt karte hain you do not straight away say, uh, say rather you use a buffer 
which is neutral, which finds a common ground with the reader, so that reader is in a good frame of mind. Aaj ye sari chizhe zehen me rakhte hoye, aaye hum kuch examples dekhte hain, aur un examples se aap you will have a fairly good impression, fairly good idea how to proceed ahead in your future correspondence. Kaise aap aise disappointing newsletters ko kaise likhein? एक आपने रिफ्यूजल करनी है फॉर आ रिक्वेस्ट जिसमें कि एक फेवर के लिए आपको रिक्वेस्ट की गई है एंड वो फेवर ये है कि चूंकि प्राइवेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉरपोरेशन इंटरैक्ट विद लोकल कम्युनिटी दे दे इंटरैक्ट विद पर्टिकुलरली विद एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन तो कभी कभार आपको ऐसा भी चांस होगा कि आपकी वसिनिटी में जहां आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन काम कर रही है कोई कॉलेज कोई एकेडमिक इंस्टीट्यूशन रिक्वेस्ट करेगा आपसे कि आप अपने प्रेमिस को कुछ देर के लिए लेंड कर दें ताकि दे वांट टू कैरी ऑन सम एक्टिविटी विच इन वे इज गुड बिकॉज आजकल कॉर्पोरेट सोशल जो एक्टिविटीज है वो एस्पेक्ट्स बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कॉर्पोरेट्स आर सपोज टू हैव देयर सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इन कॉर्पोरेटेड इन टू एक्टिविटीज लिहाजा कॉरपोरेशन दे लाइक टू वर्क विद एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन विद विद communities so as a situation may you have to be very sensitive you have to be very careful about uh, not hurting the feelings of any institution jo aapko request kare ke aap apne premises de dijiye hum koi academic activity so you will see uh, one such uh, uh, request where the college wants to hold a graduation ceremony ye jo letter main aapko dikhaunga iske andar the the writer from the corporation does not know the principal agar to aap principal ko jante hain jisne request kiya you can straight away say no because your jisko aap likh rahe hain would understand ke aapne past mein but this is a new he is a new person to dekhiye ke ek aisa shakhs jisne request ki hai for granting the premises for holding a graduation ceremony corporation ka jo head hai jo in charge hai jo responsible person hai wo kaise intelligently uh, turns down says no for our favor screen pe dekhte hain so here dekhi buffer opening uh, kaise compose kiya gaya because we appreciate xy college any any fictitious college and the many opportunities you have provided to deserving students over the years we at infotech another fictitious company have supported the college in many ways अब देखिए ये बफर मैंने इस्तेमाल किया है इसके अंदर कॉमनैलिटीज द रिलेशनशिप दैट पास में वी हैव बीन सपोर्टिंग इच अदर इसी बफर के अंदर एक लास्ट सेंटेंस है थैंक यू फॉर कंसिडरिंग आर ग्राउंड्स फॉर योर ग्रेजुएट सेरेमनी दिस इज द बफर अब देखिए ये रिफ्यूजल लेटर है लेकिन स्टार्टिंग विद अ कॉमन ग्राउंड जिससे कि कोई ऐसा इमेज नहीं है कि स्ट्रेट वे रिफ्यूजल है Rather, telling the reader that we always encourage, we support, we appreciate such activity. The uh, the next uh, paragraph where you give the reasoning that why would you not be able to hold this or uh, grant this facility? Ab next paragraph me dekhi ke reasoning kis tarikay se uske andar dali gayi. Screen pe dekhi. Our company wide sales meetings will be held during the month of december ye wohi mahina hai wohi din hai jab ke wo graduate ceremony hold karna chahte hain we will host over 200 sales representatives and their families and activities will take place at corporate campus here is a very genuine reasoning for saying we cannot i'm nowhere so far i have said no aage dekhiye therefore we will be unable to devote an ad adequate support staff for your graduation hum support staff nahi denge de sakte ab iske andar jo bad news hai wo explicitly in detail mention kar di gayi hai the reader would understand ki genuinely the company cannot extend the facilities because wahan already सेल्स प्रमोशन एक्टिविटीज हो रही मगर कहीं भी यह नहीं कहा कि वी कैन नॉट सपोर्ट दिस एक्टिविटी और सॉरी वी कैन नॉट लेट यू होल्ड दैट ग्रेजुएशन सेरेमनी ना किस तरीके से 
इम्प्लाई है मैंने पास्ट आपको भी अपने लेक्चर्स के अंदर एग्जाम्पल्स में बार बार इस चीज पे फोकस कर रहा हूं दैट यू शुड लर्न टू मेक एन इम्प्लाइड रिफ्यूजल स्ट्रेट वे नो नहीं कहना चाहिए लेट से थर्ड पैराग्राफ जिसके अंदर के मैंने आई एम ट्राइंग टू हेल्प देम आउट टेलिंग देम दैट वी सिंस हैव ऑलवेज बीन वर्किंग इट इज इन आर इंटरेस्ट कैसे मैं उनको और फर्दर फैसिलिटी एक्सटेंड कर रहा हूं तीसरा पैराग्राफ देखिए हैव यू कॉल्ड मिस्टर सुहेल एट द कम्युनिटी क्लब आई कांट थिंक ऑफ अ प्रिटियर साइट फॉर ग्रेजुएशन आई नो सुहेल पर्सनली आई कैन फिल यू इन ऑन द डिटेल्स इफ यू वुड लाइक to talk to me first ab i am not leaving them into dole drums main unko is situation mein nahi dal raha ki wo musibat par jaye ye to mil rahi phir kya i'm helping them out i'm saying ki ek aur badi achhi jagah hai ek alternate proposal yaad rahe ki maine aapko shuru mein kaha tha ki when you cannot grant something give something in return alternate bataiye ki ye to nahi main kar sakta magar ye kar sakta hu you have to tell what you can do not what you can't do So here is a very good proposal. Okay, I can help you in getting. आगे देखिए next paragraph. Even though our annual meeting will most likely prevent us from hosting graduation, we remain firm in our commitment to your institution and to your students. We will continue to be a corporate partner to Wu X Y College and will support your efforts. as you move forward dekhi this is a very firm closing and is closing ke andar renewed spirit of cooperation of support of appreciating what but at the same time nowhere has been said we are sorry we cannot whatever tik aapne refusal letters jab bhi likhne hain you must develop this style of writing you learn to say no without using negative words but alternatively aap unko aur bataiye what you can do next letter mai ek aapko specimen dikhaunga wo hai refusing a refund agar aap marketing business mein honge sales mein honge you will come across lots of situations where a merchandise a product which you have already sold log warranty period ke baad aayenge they will request you for replacement they will re- request you for refund as a situation mein aap kya karenge how have you find a genuine reason to say no and especially uh, in businesses like where you are dealing in clothes which is again a very delicate market you can't possibly sell a dress and a person comes back especially in this case you will find that a very trendy dress ek bada hi expensive dress becha hai to a lady who returns that dress after 3 weeks saying that she, she hasn't liked the dress or usko fit bhi nahi aata ab aise situation mein it's a very precarious condition it's a very delicate situation or very old customer but realizing that you cannot do it aap dekhenge hum ki aise situation mein uh, how can we compose uh, a message jisme humne na bhi karni hai apne customer ko bhi naraz nahi karna hai aur ek jo company ki policy hai ki well if the dress is untouched aap dress kharab nahi hua to theek hai you can return or you can even ask for a refund if such is a situation but when especially after 3 weeks and you find that there is something which is not befitting for you to accept it usko apne kaise refuse karna hai main aapko iski ek pura formatted letter dikhata hu that will give you an idea ki aise situation mein aapne kaise refusal letter ko compose karna hai iska buffer kaise hum dekhiye compose karte hain we understand your concern about the exclusive dekhiye naam main sare fictitious rakh raha hu yahan bhi koi ek maine aise farzi naam ni na bahut hi rakha hai so we understand your concern about the exclusive nina boutique's dress you returned on whatever the day that has been returned aap ne uski date dal di february as always we are 
willing to do so as much as we reasonably can to make things right. Now, in this buffer, we have one Rather, the writer says that we are willing to do as much as is reasonable to do. Buffer, good. Gets the reader in a good frame of mind. Yeah, no indication nahi hai that there's going to be a refusal. Ab reasoning kya de raha hai? Aage What we can do in each instance is determined by the facts of the case. Wo kya rakhe case by case hum determine karte hai what they can do. Lekin wohi wali baat we are not saying what we cannot do, what we can do. With returned clothing, we generally give refunds. Very clear. We normally do that. Hum refund de te. Of course, to meet our obligations to our customers for quality merchandise, all returned clothing must be unquestionably new. Ab yaha dekhiye, ek implied company ki policy hai. Lekin nowhere has the writer saying ki company ki policy hai, agar to wo dress nea hai, phir to hum refund kar dete. Implied message. Yeah, we merit pay case pay decide karna chata. As you know, our customers expect only the best from us and we insist that they get it. Ab dekhi wo apne reader ko keh raha hai ke you are one of those customers who always wants to get the best. That is a product which is as good as new. Rather, which is new, not that usko kisin chardin pahen ke return kiya. Making him or her realize that you are one of the customers or hum usko value hatte. Aage dekhiye. Thus, because the perspiration stains on your dress would prevent its resale, we must consider the sale final. Ab we must consider the sale final is a refusal. और रिफ्यूजल के रीजनिंग क्या दी है कि उसके उस ड्रेस के ऊपर पसीने के धब्बे लगे हुए हैं मेकिंग दी रीडर रियलाइज कि तुमने इसको पहना है हाउ वुड यू फील इफ आई सेल यू अ प्रोडक्ट जो किसी और ने इसी तरह से वापस किया हो और वो भी पहन के वुड यू लाइक दैट देखिए ये सारा मैसेज इंप्लाइड है वी आर रिटर्निंग द ड्रेस टू यू विद इट यू विल फाइंड अ स्पेशल alteration voucher that assures you of getting the best possible fit free of charge. So now look at the conclusion, the, the closing paragraph. So whenever it is convenient, please come by and let us alter this beautiful Dina Boutique's creation to your requirements. We look forward to serving you. Now look at this refusal letter, mein, a very genuine reasoning of not accepting the claim. Wo jo claim tha ke hume refund kar de, and I suppose any good customer would realize yes, because usne pehna tha, uske upar perspiration ke daag the, would say ke yes. Or because wo fit nahi tha usko, usne watch de diya so that you know uh, could alter it. Aaye ab ham ek nayal letter dekhte hain that is refusing a claim. Ab claim letters mein एक और एस्पेक्ट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कि नॉर्मली जब लोग कोई क्लेम करते हैं किसी चीज का उसके अंदर इमोशंस इन्वॉल्व हो जाते हैं एंड स्पेशली व्हेन यू हैव बॉट समथिंग विद ग्रेट डिजायर और इट मे बी एक्सपेंसिव और इट मे बी समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी क्लोज टू योर हार्ट आपने या आप कलेक्शंस करते हैं किसी चीज में आपने खरीदी है देन यू फाइंड के इट्स डिफेक्टिव सो इमोशंस आर इन्वॉल्व Therefore, when you refuse a claim, you have to see that you are playing with the emotions of a person. Ab un emotions ko apne hurt nahi karna, but again, when saying no, you have to keep in mind that you do not have to feel sorry about it, and you have to be very firm. Or ye jo main apko example ek dikha raha hu, iske andar a person bought a digital camera and after one year discovered that it is not functioning well. So. See how a refusal to a claim can be uh, formulated. Uh, 
let's look at the refusal. Thanks for your letter about the battery release switch on your XY digital camera. We believe, as you do, that electronic equipment should be built to last. That's why we stand behind our products with a 90-day warranty. Ab ye buffer dekhi. Is buffer ke andar usne kitni achhi ek explanation ki that we believe such products should last forever. But realizing that this is not possible in the business, has said that's why keeping in mind we give for our products a 90 days warranty period. The key is that what imply is that as a matter of fact, it's the company's policy. The company's policy is that 90 days warranty period is excessive. The period lapse will not be able to do it. Now, the implied message is that it's clear that the person is going to refuse because the claim will be very bad. Reasoning, you see, next paragraph. Even though your XY camera is a year old and therefore out of warranty, we can still help. This is the beauty of establishing goodwill, relationships of the organization. Please pack your camera carefully and send it to our store in Lahore, Jobi area, jahan hai. Include your complete name, address, phone number and a brief description of the malfunction along with a check of rupees 500. And now here is a letter which will tell you how to construct a smart refusal. यहां से आप बहुत कुछ सीख सकते हैं कि आपने सर्विसेज भी एक्सटेंड कर दी क्योंकि द बेसिक इंटेंशन ऑफ दैट पर्सन इज कि मेरे कैमरा किस तरीके से ठीक हो जाए बिकॉज़ अदरवाइज ही और शी इज नॉट श्योर कि कहीं और सर्विस uh, लेगा या लेगी तो हो सकता है कि चीज खराब हो जाए सो यू आर एक्सटेंडिंग हेल्पिंग दी योर योर क्लाइंट बट एट द सेम टाइम आस्किंग फॉर अ चेक आगे देखिए आफ्टर एग्जामिनिंग द यूनिट वी विल गिव यू अ रिटन एस्टीमेट ऑफ द नीडेड पार्ट्स एंड लेबर then just let us know whether you want us to make the repairs either by phone or by filling out the prepaid card we'll send you with the estimate aapne dekha ki kitna intelligently usne usko refusal to kiya hai ki hum aapka camera replace nahi kar sakte but this is what we can extend aapne jab bhi kabhi koi refusal letter koi disappointing letter to straight away no nahi kehna uska alternate jaise maine kaha you have to provide something in return uh, so that your customer stays in business with you, feels happy about it. Look at the next paragraph. If you choose to repair the unit, the rupees 500 will be applied towards your bill, the balance of which is payable by check or credit card. If you decide not to repair the unit, the rupees 500 will pay for the technician's time examining the unit. XY also has service center available in your area. If you would prefer to take the unit to one of them, please see the enclosed list. As a matter of fact, agar ye writer ek professional writer na hota, agar ye organization professional organization na hoti, to straight away refusal would have been sorry we can't warranty expire ho gayi. Aap apne area mein jo bhi banda kareeb mein hai, maha chale jaye, find out. Here the complete information is being provided. Something extra is being given. This is what is the beauty of promoting the business relationship and effective refusal writing. Closing the key. Thanks again for inquiring about our service. I have enclosed a catalog of our latest cameras and accessories. In December, XY is offering a special sale at which time you can buy a new model. Come and visit us soon. You understand? मैंने आपको कहा कि जब भी आपको अपॉर्चुनिटी मिले नेवर मिस अ चांस ऑफ प्रमोटिंग योर प्रोडक्ट्स प्रमोटिंग योर सर्विसेज एंड मेंटेनिंग रिवाइविंग द रिलेशनशिप यू ऑलरेडी एस्टैब्लिश विद योर कस्टमर्स आई होप यू नाउ आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि आपने रिफ्यूजल लेटर्स कैसे आई एम टेलिंग यू द टेक्निक्स नॉट क्विकली Declining an invitation because you have to many occasions ke upar invitations aayi. Aapne na kaise karna hai? Aayi ek letter dekhte hain. 
Thank you for inviting me to speak at the upcoming convention of the, say, Management Association. I have always found it pleasant to visit, say, in Lahore in spring. I, you have to add a touch, a personal touch. I always like to meet the members of your association or I like to visit where the meeting is going, it will give me an opportunity. That is, you appreciate that they have invited you. And uh, the next matter, the next uh, paragraph for the, the reasoning of refusal, that's how we'll put it. Our firm recently began offering public seminars in various cities throughout the country. I'm scheduled to offer a three-day seminar in Karachi during the same three days of your convention. Otherwise, I would be happy to speak at your convention. A very genuine reason showing this is, this is a reason I, I can't otherwise I would have loved. Ab yaha, the uh, message is complete. You could have said, thank you very much for inviting me. Hope to meet you again. Magar nahi. The message is not complete. Just say, previous letters may be. Offer something in, in return. Kya hai? Guess kare. Can you imagine? That is, you are providing them an alternate solution. Alternate solution kya hai? Next paragraph ek One of my colleagues, who also has experience in management sciences, is available during the time you asked me to speak. His presentation skills are excellent and I'm certain that he would contribute significantly to the success of your convention. You have helped a person out. Aapne straight away refusal se problems unki add nahi ki. Rather, you are making them that here is another person. The closing paragraph. If you are interested in contacting my colleague about the possibility of his speaking at your convention, please send me a note or call me at whatever the telephone number is. Ye hai action. Yaad hai mene aapko kaha tha ki aakhri paragraph mein aapne batana hai ki kya action lena hai. Don't forget. Ab ye dekhi ki mene jase aapko kaha ki ye letter do paragraphs ke baad khatm ho gaya tha. Lekin aapne alternate solution di hai. Aapne usko bataya hai what action is to be taken. And lastly, best wishes for a successful convention. That's how you should be writing good letters. Very important form of letters, another form of letters. That is rejecting job applications. Ab jaha, past ko agar hum compare kare, to maine jaise bataya ki jitne letters hain, uske andar aap buffer istamal karte aare hain. Lekin, maine aapko shuru mein kaha tha, ke job letters ek wahid aise letters honge jaha you may not start with a buffer. Yaha aap direct approach istamal kar sakte hain. Because if you start with a buffer, it will reflect insincerity. It will look as you are trying to manipulate. Aap uski bohat bande ki tarif karenge and then, but no. Again here, you will start directly but you will be implying very intelligently. That is, کہ ہم نے کیا وجہ ہے کہ دوسرے بندے کو رکھ لی ہے اور اس میں knowing that a person is very well qualified you will imply that the company policy یہ تھی کہ ہم نے اتنے سال کا experience کا بندہ لینا تھا لہٰذا تم سے زیادہ experience کا بندہ ہم نے رکھا ہے تو وہ opening paragraph کے اندر all this message would need to be put in let's see how we do it So, آپ نے یہ چیز کرنے کے لیے تین گائیڈ لائنز استعمال کرنی ہے. Because it is difficult to tactfully handle this. لہٰذا آپ نے three گائیڈ لائنز کو فالو کرنا ہے. یہ جو چیز جو میں آپ بتا رہا ہوں. پہلا, that you open with a direct approach. And as we did it in the past using a buffer, which looks manipulative, you will have to straight away go with saying, as I said, with the implied message. And second is, second approach yogi, you'll have to clearly state why the applicant was not selected. Make your rejection less personal. Okay, we have rejected you on this very reasons. No, this is another way of writing direct, but you don't do that. But you have to state that you, you, we have hired somebody more experienced 
whose qualifications match the positions which you wanted. And then you can close by suggesting alternatives. आप ये कह सकते हैं कि हम आपका बायोडाटा रख रहे हैं कोई और वैकेंसीज अगर राइज हुई तो वहां एकोमोडेट करेंगे या इफ यू आर इफ यू हैपन टू बी पर्सन हु कम इन टू कॉन्टेक्ट विद अदर पीपल यू कैन एज वेल सजेस्ट तो दीज थिंग्स इन माइंड लेट सी के कॉम्पोजिशन ऐसे लेटर की क्या होगी ओपनिंग पैराग्राफ वी हैव फिल्ड द टैक्स अकाउंटेंट पोजिशन सुडो वी हैव फिल्ड द पोजिशन डायरेक्ट Selecting just one candidate from 30 qualified applicants was quite difficult. We hired a candidate with more than 10 years experience in the field. Look, it's direct implied. It it implies a bad news. Ke tumhe nahi select kiya but a person with 10 years of experience. Now further aapne next paragraph ko kaise compose karna hai jahan aapne reasoning di. Your resume and credentials show you to be a deserving candidate kyunki aapne us bande ko bilkul demoralize nahi karna hai this is what you're saying your academic record and previous accounting experience certainly indicate your willingness to work hard those of us who had the opportunity to talk with you believe that your ability to communicate will certainly help you achieve an excellent position in a recognized accounting firm Why do we need writing this in in a letter where we are not offering a position? The reason is that हम नहीं चाहते कि वो शख्स अपना self confidence lose करे. We want to maintain the self confidence intact. और साथ ही हमने ये शुरू में कह दिया कि with all the abilities, with all the talent, with all what was required, हमारा past experience ये था कि हमें 10 साल का experience का बंदा चाहिए था. जैसे याद है मैंने एक आपको पहले एप्लीकेशन में बताया था लेटर की फॉर्मेशन में कि हमारी रिसर्च ने बताया कि इतने पांच साल के एक्सपीरियंस मैनेजमेंट ट्रेनिंग बड़े सक्सेसफुल रहते हैं लिहाजा चूंकि तुम नहीं हो यू विल नॉट फिट इनटू एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग वी इंप्लाई दैट बाय कंस्ट्रक्टिंग दिस पैराग्राफ थर्ड पैराग्राफ क्या आप कंपोज करेंगे इन द मीन टाइम वी वुड लाइक टू कीप योर इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन फाइल फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स In case other position opens up in the near future, अब ये देखिए, this is how we are giving this person a hope कि आपका CV हमारे file पे रहेगा और आइंदा कोई position arise भी तो हम उसके लिए consider करेंगे. Having said all this, you must have fairly gained uh, a good impression, a good idea about how to write various letters. आपको मैंने डिटेल में पैराग्राफ कंस्ट्रक्ट करना भी सिखा दिया और आपको मैंने एक सीक्वेंस एक पैटर्न विद कीपिंग ऑल दोज थिंग्स इन माइंड यू वुड नीड नाउ टू प्रैक्टिस इट बट सिंस आई वांट टू क्लोज दिस वेरी सब्जेक्ट टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू एनकैप्सुलेट व्हाट आर आई हैव सेट यू सो फार इन द फॉर्म्स ऑफ सर्टन गाइडलाइन अगर इन गाइडलाइंस को आप जहन नशीन कर लेंगे दैट इज कपल ऑफ वॉट यू शुड बी डूइंग एंड कपल ऑफ थिंग्स वॉट यू शुड नॉट डू दैट इज डूज एंड डोंट्स मैं अब आपको अगले चंद मिनटों के अंदर डूज एंड डोंट्स की गाइडलाइन बताऊंगा दैट विल सॉर्ट ऑफ आपके जहन में दोबारा उन सब चीजों को रिवाइव करेगा एंड इट विल गाइड यू वेन एवर यू want to construct so carefully keep these guidelines in mind let's see first what you should be doing and after that i'll take you what you should not be doing. first that is you use a neutral or a buffered opening that produces agreement rather than disagreement ye pehla kanoon aapne yaad rakhna hai that is neutral or buffered opening Ek न्यूट्रल ओपनिंग और अ बफर ओपनिंग मैंने आपको काफी एग्जांपल्स दी विच शुड रिफ्लेक्ट दी एग्रीमेंट राधर देन दी डिस जितनी मैंने एग्जांपल्स दी उसके अंदर कहीं डिसएग्रीमेंट नहीं था क्विकली मैं आपको अगेन एक बफर दिखाता हूं स्क्रीन के ऊपर दैट विल सॉर्ट ऑफ रिवाइज के बफर कैसे कंस्ट्रक्ट करना है 
when you purchase a green products lawnmower, you have every right to expect that it will be of the quality commonly associated with the green products. पहली बात कि आपने ये बफर है ना कि आपने जब भी ये प्रोडक्ट खरीदना है, it should be a quality which should be associated जो किसके अंदर होनी चाहिए. And अगला इसी के साथ continued. The items you recently ordered from us have been selling very well. I'm now here it is implied क्योंकि the person is going to refuse कि आपने कहा कि you're not happy with this lawnmower but it has been accepted very well. People generally हमें complaints नहीं आती implied है कि ये आपकी complaint कैसे आ गई ठीक है ऐसा buffer आपने शुरू करना है. Again second guideline discuss the facts and analyze the situation in sufficient detail and details which will help convince the reader of your honesty and sincerity aap jab refusal bhi kar rahe hain to uske andar honesty honi chahiye aur aapki sincerity honi chahiye again main ek aapko sentence dikhata hu ek paragraph dikhata hu jiske andar ke uh, which follows the buffer we consider a number of factors when reviewing applications for credit included are such factors as length of time at one residence length of time of current employment income assets bill paying record and amount of current financial obligations ab dekhiye ye reasoning for turning down a credit request maybe wo banda naya aaya hai uski salary kam hai uh, employment naya uh, naya employee hua with all these things implied no this is how you have to exactly follow the next paragraph after putting the buffer this is what should be done consider using an implicit refusal rather than an explicit refusal pichle jo cheez dikhai that was a reasoning but then aage maine aapko yaad hai sequence mein bataya tha then you have to make a refusal and the refusal should be implicit embedded uske andar hona chahiye somewhere इंटेलिजेंटली स्क्रीन पे मैं आपको अगेन रिफ्रेश कर रहा हूं द वारंटी दैट केम विद योर मिक्स राइस इलेक्ट्रिक मिक्सर इज इन इफेक्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ ओनरशिप बिगिनिंग विद द डेट ऑफ परचेज जब आप इसको खरीदेंगे तब से इसकी वारंटी शुरू होगी अब रेकर्ड शो योर मिक्सर वॉज परचेज मोर देन टू ईयर्स अगो वो शख्स दो साल के बाद उसको वापस कर रहा है और कह रहा है कि उसको रिप्लेस कर दो बट इजिली कुड बीन सैड नो बट द राइटर इज नॉट सेइंग इट इम्प्लिसिटली विदाउट सेइंग नो गिविंग रीजनिंग एंड एक्सप्लेनिंग दैट बिकॉज दिस इज व्हाट इन फैक्ट इट इज द कंपनीज पॉलिसी एज वेल कि एक साल से ज्यादा एडजस्ट लिख बट इट्स एन इम्प्लाइड मैसेज नॉट दैट फॉलोइंग ऑफ कोर्स दी company policy but implied no capitalize on what you can do for the reader rather than what you cannot do yaad rahe ki maine abhi recently aapko jo ek example college ki di thi uske andar the reader could not provide the facility for holding a graduation ceremony but alternately propose kiya that's what exactly should be done i am giving you another example we are offering you a 2% discount on all cash purchases for the next 6 months ab dekhi this is what you are offering not um, man, implied hai we can't we can't refund the whole rather giving you a 2% discount during the second year of ownership of your xy computer our warranty covers the cost of labor when making repairs if you purchase the parts from us ek aur concession ki hum ye bhi is tarah se karte hain we are currently offering a 5% discount on the list price of all xy parts ab aapne you are capitalizing of what you are offering and not saying hum ye nahi kar sakte hum ye nahi kar sakte you understand that is how you should develop a habit of dealing with your customer remember customer as this is always right and when even if you are uh, you are bound to say no you have to find a good way of saying no to a customer so that the customer doesn't feel annoyed use sales promotion material whenever appropriate 
हमने जब भी कभी मौका जैसे मैंने आपको एक दो लेटर्स पिछले में दिखाया था कि अगले महीनों के अंदर हम सेल लगाने लगे हैं यू कैन बाय अ न्यू कैमरा ठीक है यू रिमेंबर दैट सो एग्जैक्टली दैट इज वॉट इज मैंट दैट वाइल योर रीडर माइट बी से नॉट वेरी हैप्पी अबाउट गेटिंग अ रिफ्यूजल इन अ वेरी इंप्लेसिड मैनर आप उसे एक और अपॉर्चुनिटी दे देते हैं कि आने वाले वक्त के अंदर सम गुड ऑफर्स को बी मेड एंड यू कुड बी वन ऑफ द प्राइज कस्टमर्स टू कम इन अ वे लुक एट द स्क्रीन यू विल बी ग्लैड टू नो दैट वी जस्ट रिसीव्ड ऑथराइजेशन टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट दी एक फिक्टिशियस फिर कंपनी पार्क स्पोर्ट्स वे लाइन टू हेल्प इंट्रोड्यूस दिस न्यू लाइन टू आर कस्टमर्स वी आर ऑफरिंग अ थ्री परसेंट इंट्रोडक्टरी डिस्काउंट ऑन ऑल पार्क मर्चेंडाइज ऑर्डर ऑन और बिफोर डिसम्बर वन so you are informing your uh, customer okay, here is a very good offer for you to avail so this is what you should be doing jo main cheeze aapko bata raha hu aapne ye wherever the situation arises you should be doing these things offer suggestions to prevent a recurrence of the problem situation kyunki koi complaint aayi hai तो यू हैव टू एजुकेट योर कस्टमर एज वेल सो दैट दैट प्रॉब्लम डजेंट कम अगेन नाउ यू से हाउ लुक एट द स्क्रीन अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल टू कीप योर ग्रीन प्रोडक्ट लॉन मोर ऑपरेटिंग एट पीक परफॉर्मेंस इन द फ्यूचर वी सजेस्ट दैट यू यूज ओनली ग्रीन प्रोडक्ट ऑयल गैस मिक्सचर हमारा ही अगर प्रोडक्ट uh, है उसके साथ एक्सेसरीज से हमारी इस्तेमाल करें other things so that in future you have got a complaint we couldn't say ke bhai iske andar oil to kisi aur company ka dala tha so that's what you are educating and uh, advising that the problem doesn't recur that's what you should be doing make a counter offer or counter proposal if appropriate remember that like जैसे आपको मैंने एक लेटर सिखाया था कंपोज करना जिसके अंदर एक क्रेडिट फैसिलिटी मांगी गई थी एक लाख की बट सम हाउ कोड विधान वो हाउ कैन यू से इन सिंग नो वी कैन नॉट काउंटर प्रपोजल विच कुड बी वी बिलीव इट विल बी इन योर इमीडिएट बेस्ट इंटरेस्ट फॉर आस टू सेट योर क्रेडिट लिमिट एट सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड रादर हंड्रेड थाउजेंड विच यू रिक्वेस्टेड अब देखिए यहां यू आर ऑफरिंग समथिंग इन रिटर्न एंड पर्सन से ओके फाइन अदरवाइज स्ट्रेट अवे अगर रिफ्यूजल है सॉरी वी कैन नॉट डू दिस यू आर हर्टिंग योर बिजनेस रिलेशनशिप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज हाउ यू डू एट मेक रीडर एक्शन इजी इफ अप्रोप्रिएट डोंट प्रपोज थिंग्स विच इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर दाइट उनके लिए आप एक्शंस को आसान बनाएं ताकि दे दे लाइक टू डू इट इजली लाइक है इफ यू वुड लाइक अस टू सब्सटीट्यूट फैंसी शर्टिंग्स इन द सेम क्वांटिटी एंड साइज फॉर द आउट ऑफ स्टॉक ब्रांड शर्टिंग्स दैट यू ऑर्डर प्लीज कॉल मी ऑन दिस नंबर द ब्रांड शर्टिंग्स कैन बी शिफ्ट एज सुन एज वी हेयर फ्रॉम यू वो आउट ऑफ स्टॉक हैं बट सिंस कैन नॉट बी immediately you are helping that person is instead, instead of saying they are out of stock we cannot supply it please call me so that uh, we we tell you when would they be shipped and when we we will be in a position ye sari cheeze facilitate kar rahi hain aapki refusal at this go understand aapne ye sari do's jo hai maine batayi hain i say what you should be doing Remember them one by one and practice them. आइए आप कुछ ऐसी चीजें हैं जो आपको नहीं करनी बिकॉज दो इफ यू डू विल हार्म द रिलेशनशिप यू मस्ट अवॉइड दो थिंग्स पहली चीज जो आपने अवॉइड करनी है यू नो इट ऑलरेडी आई बिन एम्फोसाइजिंग इट अगेन एंड अगेन अवॉइड द यूज ऑफ नेगेटिव वर्ड्स और फ्रेजेस मैंने तो आपको सजेस्ट किया था कि अपनी जिंदगी में से ही नेगेटिविटी निकाल दें 
जिंदगी में से कोई नेगेटिव वर्ड्स ना लाए पॉजिटिव अप्रोच पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड ऑलवेज लुकिंग एट दी ब्राइटर साइड इन द पिक्चर लुकिंग आउट नॉट वॉट हेज गॉन इन टू द पास एस इज जस्ट द वे वी डू इन बट पॉजिटिविटी एंड सो इवन वेन यू आर अप्लाइंग अवॉइड यूजिंग दिस कैन नॉट बी डन राधर ऑल्टरनेटली डोंट से दैट वी रिग्रेट दैट वी कैन नॉट एक्सचेंज योर रिसेंटली परचेज एस रेडियो फॉर एस आर रेडियो इससे हम नहीं कर सकते एज यू रिक्वेस्टेड सो वट यू रियली हैव टू कीप इट माइंड दैट यू डू नॉट हैव टू यूज नेगेटिव वर्ड सॉरी वी कैन डू दैट वी रिग्रेट इट्स अनफॉर्चुनेट दैट वी कैन नॉट अकोमोडेट यू वगैरह वगैरह ये आपने चीजें अवॉइड करनी है ओके सेकेंड दैट इज यू मस्ट अवॉइड द यूज ऑफ एक्यूजेटरी टोन यू शुड नॉट बी एक्यूजिंग अंडर नो सिचुएशन यू शुड बी डूइंग दैट इनफैक्ट इन योर लाइफ बट सम हाउ इफ यू आर एनॉयड आपका कस्टमर बेशक अनरीजनेबल है डोंट चूज एक्यूजेटरी टोन दैट इज योर न्यू पार कटर मैल फंक्शन बिकॉज यू फेल टू असेंबल इट प्रॉपरली आप यहां पर उसे एक्यूज कर रहे हैं जैसे मैंने आपको बताया था कि यू ड्रॉप योर मोबाइल फोन इन टू द वॉटर यू डू नॉट हैव टू डू दैट दिस इज एक्यूजेशन यू आर लेबलिंग समथिंग विच इवन इफ यू माइट हैव डन इट बट वन डजेंट लाइक टू लेसन एवॉइड placing the statement of refusal in a position of emphasis remember maine kaha tha ki jahan aapne jis baat pe emphasis lay karna hai wahan refusal na ho because this is the whole essence of the disappointing letters ki aapne jo important places hain and that's where you emphasize relationship developing relationship wahan aapne na nahi karni look at the example for the reasons outlined in the above paragraph we are sure you will understand why we cannot honor your request for a full refund on the formal dress you recently purchased from us wrong paragraph you do not do that this is a bad way of putting thing over here then avoid using company policy as the reason for justifying the refusal i have given you sufficient examples that although in the back of your mind you know that you cannot extend uh, a credit facility but somehow you will not mention it because otherwise people will think that you are rigid maine aapko job application mein bhi bataya tha ki if you reject a person on the basis saying that our company's policy is ke 5 saal se kam ka experience uh, ke banda nahi lena the person will think they are not judging on the merit ek nalayak aadmi hai uska 10 saal ka experience hai does it mean that you will take that person uh, on on the on the job which you have announced no your basis is the merit and the job requirements is qualifications plus the required at least required experience of 5 years and that should be implied avoid making suppositions that are not likely to occur like if you say now that you have heard our side of the story we are certain that you will agree with our decision ye aapki supposition hai ke kyunki aapne sari explanation de di aapka reader aapki baat maan jayega don't make such a supposition because aap aisi supposition dene ke baad you are not speaking the language of your reader aap ऑडियंस सेंटर टोन में बात नहीं करे आप यू आर रिफ्लेक्टिंग योर ओन सेल्फ इसमें यू एटीट्यूड नहीं है ओके अवॉइड दैट अवॉइड अपोलोजाइजिंग फॉर द एक्शन यू आर टेकिंग अभी थोड़ी देर पहले आपसे मैंने कहा आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू टेल यू अवॉइड दैट वी आर सॉरी दैट वी कैन नॉट ग्रांट यू रिक्वेस्ट नहीं आपने कहना ओके दैट इज अवॉइड अ स्लो स्टार्ट ओपनिंग i told you that is it would be a slow start that received your letter reference this and that and we discussed it with our colleagues and we nothing about straight away maze ki baat ye hai ki abhi tak maine aapko jitne letters format karwaye hain kahin bhi chahe wo direct request letters ho good news letters ho aur ye bad news letter start is always fast keep in mind gone the days of a slow start has to be very fast start avoid 
a meaningless close. That is, thanks for getting in touch with us. Irrelevant, superfluous. You need not be saying. It should be action oriented. Avoid suggesting that your problems may arise again in the future. Like this paragraph the screen. Should you feel after we repair and return your VCR that it is not giving you the quality of service that you have the right to expect, please contact. Why are you saying that? If you have malfunction, that means you do not have professional people. You are not sure that the things will not uh, recur. Avoid phony or insincere empathy. Empathy is the feelings. We know just how upset you are when the heating coil in your coffee maker burned out in the middle of dinner party. Don't say that. But you cannot exactly feel what the person must be feeling. Many of you do's and don'ts. A very nice way of remembering. A checklist that whenever you start writing, you must have this checklist in your mind. How are you going to start it? How are you going to uh, construct your buffer? Reasoning kaise deni hai? Kaise implied message aap ne uske the refusal karna hai? Then, how are you going to offer an alternate solution? How are you going to end it with a action oriented closing? All these things would certainly help you formulating an effective refusal, an effective bad news message. Before I conclude this lecture, let me re-emphasize that you should not shift from your main objective. And your main objective are the five things. I have five things to say and I am close to it. That is, you have to ensure that what the message you are giving is being received with good grace. First of all, you have to convey the bad message. But then you have to ensure the acceptability of that message. And this formation, acceptability and establishing goodwill relationship, good image of the company, all revolved around the audience-centered tone. Just ke baare mein aapko itni tafsil mein aapko examples bhi dikhaiye aur maine saath hi aapko bataya ki aapne kaise language, words, choice of the words, construction, how you have to keep in mind the feelings of the reader. I suppose that with all the examples, with all I what I mentioned uh, in my in lecture today, will go a long way in helping you uh, regain confidence and developing their skills, which certainly will only come, as I've been saying off and on again, by practice, practice, and practice alone. My next lecture is be more interesting. Hoga. Surely you must have learned lots of techniques in these letter writings, especially the refusal letters. But persuasive letters are the most difficult, as I said to you earlier, but they are very challenging. They are very interesting. I will tell you in detail that how can you really change the attitude, the approach of a person? Surely you must have enjoyed listening to and adopting certain techniques which will come over a period of time. Agar, inshallah, my next lecture may aapko isse zyada enjoyment milegi to learn and change the whole approach towards effective uh, business writing. But believe me, enjoyment alone is not enough. Enjoyment when mixed with hard work and the results which you See, coming, you enjoy more. And I would like you to keep enjoying your life with improving your quality of life and especially your professional life. Inshallah, I'll meet you again with the new subject, Persuasive Matters. Khuda Hafiz.